Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, and Prince Harry knew they had met someone special after the outcome of their second date, a new book reveals. The couple began dating back in 2016 after both being set up on a blind date by a mutual friend. Since then, Meghan and Harry have enjoyed a flourishing romance and are expecting their first child together imminently. According to the Daily Mirror, in her new book Meghan and Harry, Life, Loss and Love, author Katie Nichol reveals the moment they knew they were the ones for each other. In an extract she writes, they quickly arranged to see each other again, this time at Soho House in London where another of their mutual friends Marcus Anderson works. Anderson arranged for them to have a discreet table at the private members club, and because there is no cameras policy, the couple enjoyed a relaxed date without the worry of being photographed. Over a bottle of chilled rose they chatted for hours confirming to Harry that he had indeed met someone special. The couple were reportedly first set up by fashion public relations associate Violet Van Westenholz. News of their relationship broke in October 2016, and Prince Harry had a word of warning for Meghan when he learned of the leak. A source at the time told the Sunday Express that Harry was happier than he had been for many years and was besotted with Meghan. Meghan, 37, is hoping to have a home birth at Frogmore Cottage with Prince Harry, 34, by her side. She would be following in the Queen's footsteps, who gave birth to her four children at her royal residences. But Meghan has not ruled out a hospital delivery due to the increased risks of complications for mothers over the age of 35. Meghan is due to give birth this month or in early May but the exact date has not been revealed. She could take a stand against the Sultan of Brunei after she previously refused to stay at his hotels, amid fresh controversy over the nation's anti-LGBT laws. Before she joined the royal family, Meghan reportedly turned down a free stay at five-star hotel The Dorchester in London, which is owned by the Sultan. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.